right here in Rambilai, near Visakhapatnam, on India's eastern coast, construction has begun on the first site of Google's massive data center project in Andhra Pradesh. This location alone covers nearly 160 acres and it's just the beginning with a total of around 500 acres planned across three different sites in the Misaka Putnam region. Once completed, this will be one of Google's largest data infrastructure hubs in South Asia, powering cloud computing, AI, and digital services for millions of users around the world. This drone footage captures the early stages of the historic transformation as the Sakaputnam prepares to become India's next big technology destination. Far from Silicon Valley, on the serene eastern coast of India, a quiet revolution is underway. Here, in the coastal district of Sakaputnam, known locally as Vizag, one of the world's largest tech companies is building something extraordinary. This is Google's new data center part of a multi-site expansion that could reshape the digital infrastructure of South Asia. And the site you are looking at right now is a massive 160-acre facility in Rambilai. It is at the heart of it all. Built across locations in and around Visakhapatnam, this ambitious project will soon become a critical node in Google's global cloud network, powering billions of searches, videos, and AI operations every single day. This site is not just construction, it's the foundation of a digital empire and it's happening right here in India. The Rambilai data center site stretches over 160 acres. That's roughly the size of 120 football fields. It's one of the largest technology infrastructure projects ever attempted on India's eastern coast. Multiple buildings are, are, will be constructed, including server halls, energy stations, water treatment units, and cooling facilities. The design follows Google's global data center blueprint, high efficiency modular structures built to handle petabytes of data every second. According to local reports, this site will be one of three Google data campuses in the Misaka Putnam region, strategically distributed for load balancing, power redundancy, and regional resilience. Across the three locations, each site plays a different role. Rambilai, the main campus, focuses on large-scale cloud computing, while Bimunapatnam may handle backup replication, and Nudasarolo Cloud serves as an auxiliary logistics and power hub. Together, they will form a triangular data network directly connected to the undersea fiber optic cables along India's east coast, making this region a digital gateway between India, Southeast Asia, and the Pacific. And why did Google choose Visakhapatnam? Why did Google pick Visakhapatnam, a city better known for its beaches, ports, and shipyards? Such a massive project. The answer lies in geography, policy, and potential. The Sakaputnam offers a strategic coastal location with proximity to international submarine internet cables that carry global data traffic between Asia and the United States. It also provides ample land availability, a stable power supply, and a supportive state government in Andhra Pradesh eager to attract high-tech investment. Unlike India's crowded metros like Mumbai or Bengaluru, Vizag offers clean air, lower population density, and direct access to renewable energy corridors, making it a perfect candidate for next-generation infrastructure. And there's another factor, geopolitical diversification. As global companies look to reduce dependence on just a few regions, India's East Coast provides a safe and growing alternative for data routing and cloud storage. How a Google Data Center Works To understand the importance of location, let's take a moment to see how a Google Data Center actually works. Every time you search on Google, watch a YouTube video, send an email, or use Google Maps, your request travels across the internet to a data center like this one. 
Inside these massive structures, thousands of servers hum 24 hours a day, processing, storing, and distributing information to billions of users around the world in a matter of seconds. Each server room is climate controlled. Rows of processors generate intense heat, which is cooled using advanced water and air circulation systems. Energy efficiency is crucial. Google's new generation centers use AI-managed cooling, recycling water multiple times before disposal. At Rambilli, early designs suggested integrating solar power and using coastal air cooling, taking advantage of Vizag's environment to reduce the carbon footprint. These centers are the physical backbone of the cloud, unseen, yet essential. And now, part of that backbone will be anchored on the coast of Andhra Pradesh. The benefits are global, local, and environmental. Now let's look at the key advantages of this project for India, for Google, and for the world. Improved data speed and reliability. By placing servers closer to users in India and Southeast Asia, response times for Google Cloud, YouTube, and other services are significantly reduced. That means faster uploads, smoother streaming, and lower latency for millions of users. Data localization. India's new data protection laws require certain data to remain within the country. The center ensures compliance while also strengthening data security for users and businesses. Job creation and skill development. Beyond construction, the project will train local talent and advance IT infrastructure skills that can spread throughout India's broader tech ecosystem. Renewable energy integration. Google has pledged to run its global data centers on 24-7 carbon-free energy by 2030. Vizag's coastal location allows for the integration of solar and wind energy, potentially setting a model for sustainable operations in developing economies. Boost to innovation and startups. With major cloud infrastructure nearby, India's startups, especially in AI, machine learning, and gaming, can operate faster and at lower costs. That could accelerate India's digital transformation in the coming decade. If you find this project fascinating, make sure to subscribe, like, and share this video, and let us know in the comments what you think about Google's expansion in India. More exclusive drone updates and insights from Misaka Putnam Tech Evolution are coming soon, so stay tuned.